Hello students, welcome to our online tutorial. Natin. Continue tayo, problem number 44. A cantilever beam daw of length L is 2 meters. Uh, 2 meters supports a load P, which is 8 kilonewton, applied at the free end. Now, the beam is made of wood with the following dimension, no? which is 120 by 200. Calculate now the shear stress 25 mm below the top and also the shear stress 50 mm below the top. Actually, same lang ang solution ito. So, for beams subjected to bending, actually, tayo, although bending to, meron tayong stress dito, no? meron tayong tinatawag na horizontal shear. So, for horizontal shear, ang equation is VQ over IB. Now, you might say, no, di ba sir, meron tayong shortcut niyan na 3V over 2A? You cannot use the shortcut kasi ang shortcut is only for the maximum shear. Now, the maximum horizontal shear will occur sa neutral axis, which is why yung shortcut 3V over 2A. However, ito, ang tinanong sa problem is not sa neutral axis na shear, but rather 25 meters from the top and 50 meters from the top, or 50 mm and 25 mm. So, ano yung mag -iiba? Ang equation will now be VQ over IB. However, yung ang B natin, actually madali lang, V is simply equal to the load. Ang load is 8 kN man, di ba? So, that is the reaction. So, V is 8,000. Ang Q is the moment area of the part of the beam that will be cut. So, for example, ito yung shear, no? Inanap natin 25 mm from the top. So, ito yun. Yan. Ito yung part na mapuputol sa shear because of the horizontal shear. Na pag naputol yan, itong part na to na sa itas, yan yung matatanggal. So, Q is actually equal to the area moment of that part. Ano yung area nito? B, which is given sa problem na 120 times height na 25. Yan o, B times height na 25. Now, times, moment arm, kasi moment area man. Moment arm, ano yung moment arm? The distance of each centroid from the neutral axis. So, ang distance, uh, I hope you will agree, di ba ang height nito is H over 2? O kaya H over 2. Minus, ito, ito. Yan yung, di ba? Ito yung location ng centroid. So, that's minus 25 over 2. So, meaning, ito yung, ito yung moment arm. Ito yung distance ng centroid na yan from the neutral axis. So, meron ka ng Q. Ang I, walang problema. Alam natin ang I, BH cube over 12. So, direct sub lang. And then, you will get your uh, shear stress na 0.219. Okay? Okay? So, ang number 2, actually, same lang talaga sila ng solution, but ang mag-iiba lang is yung Q. Kasi instead na 25, this will be 50, o kaya 50 over 2 yung Q. So, meron ka ng bagong Q, and then meron ka ding bagong shear stress, which is 0.375, you know, 0.375. <coughs> okay? So, again na, madali lang to, direct sub lang to, basta merong, alam mo lang kung ano yung Q. Q is the moment area of the part that will be uh, that will be cut due to the horizontal shear. See again? So, I hope okay tayo dyan. Say pa din. If you have any questions or clarifications, please comment down below. Maraming salamat sa panonood and see you sa next video natin.